What's going on guys, it's Tony Sauce here, and oh my god, we finally got some new playoff fantasy cards, along with some dope MSPs here, we got Keith Primu, uh, Brent Burns, very cool MSP card with the Sharks jersey, uh, Doug Gilmore, and Leon Dreisaitl, all very cool art, but yo, what's even better is the Stanley Cup playoff cards, now we got Dylan Holloway, Evander Kane for the Edmonton Oilers, Ross Colton and Josh Manson for the Avalanche, Forsling and Sam Bennett for the Florida Panthers, and then Roslavic and Trocek for the Rangers. Now, these get plus two upgrades for their series win, and the Conn Smythe winner gets an additional plus one overall upgrade. So, theoretically, one of these cards could go to 99, but it's kind of whack because Sam Bennett is injured right now. So, like, how the hell is he going to get the Conn Smythe trophy if he's injured? Just a, kind of an L there with EA, but either way, I'm so happy we got these cards. Now, there's still four more teams that are awaiting getting into the second round. Well, Carolina's already in the second round, but we're waiting on the Bruins and the Leafs and then the uh, Vegas Knights and Dallas Stars. So I'm anticipating that those Stanley Cup playoff cards are going to come out on like Tuesday's content update. But we got to see, like they might release those as soon as round two starts. So be on the lookout for those. All right, boys, I'm going to be uploading a massive pack opening that I did on my live stream yesterday. I'll probably upload that uh, tomorrow morning. All right, boys, I'll edit the whole thing, uh, upload it tomorrow morning. But we are hunting for these Stanley Cup playoff cards. Now, let's take a look here. These start at 92. So I assume that they're going to be a little bit more than 70 collectibles to build one. Let's take a look here. Okay, 80 collectibles to build one. So that's actually a pretty high value. Like if... Each card, if, if you're trading in 80 83s, it's going to be over like 200K if each 83 is priced at like 3K. So keep that in mind, boys. Um, it's it's definitely, definitely an expensive set. And then we also got these MSPs here for 15 collectibles. We also got this upgradable Nazem Kadri, which is really cool. So collect and exchange the 2022 Colorado Avalanche starting lineup to earn the 87 overall Stanley Cup playoff power-up Nazem Kadri. So you need Devin Tays. Uh, McCarr, McKinnon, Rantanen, and Landeskog. So, you know, Rantanen, 85, or, or McKinnon, 85, you can go for like 10K, 18, 86, McCarr. Like, this is going to be kind of expensive to get that 87 overall Nazem Kadri, but if you guys want to do it, you guys want to do it. But let's take a look at the playoff MSPs and the fantasy cards. All right, let's start with the Brent Burns here. Wow, very cool card here. He's six foot five, 230 pounds. Gold Heat Seeker, Silver Truculence, Tape to Tape, Elite Edges, and 1T. 1T on a defenseman is always great. 95 speed and Excel, 99 balance. Any speed synergies, Excel boost to get that 97 Excel. 95 body checking, 95 stick checking, and D awareness. He has synergies to get that boosted. Very awesome card here. I love Brent Burns. Next, we got Leon Dreisaitl here. Very cool card. He's got speed boost to get his speed up to a 96. That'll get his deking up to, oh, his deking's already at a 99. So he's got 99 wrist shot accuracy and power, 99 hands across the board, 95 face-offs. Can definitely run him at center. Gold unstoppable force, silver make it snappy, puck on a string, tape to tape, and 1T. All very fitting abilities for Leon Dreisaitl. I really like this card, boys. I really like this card. Next, we have Doug Gilmore here. Wow, very cool. Gold shrug it off. Silver beauty backhand. Born leader. Close quarters and tape to tape. 97 speed in Excel. Uh, not the best MSP here, honestly. Like, I would 100% take Leon Dreisaitl over this card. They're both left-handed. And then we also got Keith Primu. Now, this is a very cool card. Power forward here. Gold born leader. Silver elite edges. Close quarters. Big rig and snipe. So, kind of a cool card. Uh, I'm not a big fan of gold born leader but i know a lot of people are 97 face-offs 99 body checking six foot five 220 pounds so he's a massive beast uh no speed boost to get that speed up from 95 but still very good card there and then we got all these new fantasy cards so sam bennett forsling dylan holloway very cool cards here i'm not going to go over them i'm, I'm actually going to save this for a separate video talking about which cards you should go for so we'll, we'll do that in a separate video, but I just wanted to show you guys real quick, you know, Josh Manson, Ross Colton, you know, Avalanche, we could definitely see them going far in the playoffs, so that would not be an, a bad idea to get one of those cards. And then we also got this Nazem Kadri here, 87 overall, he can go up to a 95, Gold Unstoppable Force, Elite Edges, Bounce Back, which is very interesting, Make It Snappy and Puck on a String, 95 Speed and Excel, 97 Wrist Shot Accuracy, very cool card here, yeah. 
Now listen, boys, you can make a lot of coins with these new playoff cards. I literally have been buying and selling these cards all night. All night. I picked up, uh, I put Seth Jarvis up for 325. I bought him for 250. Nyquist, I took like a, I, I'd say I bought him for 104. I'm trying to sell him for 100K here. So we might get a little bit of a loss there. But I just, I also bought a Trocheck last night for 150K Snipe. I tried to sell him for 500 last night. He didn't sell. But um, I also bought Roslavic the other Ranger card that got released for 150K and I sold them last night for 250. Now I got 277K in my coin stack. We made a massive 100K profit overnight. Woke up to 100K profit overnight. So just keep that in mind, fellas. Like you can get some insane snipes here, dude. Insane snipes. I'm gonna be gone for the whole day. I'm going to a barbecue, but I am gonna post this card for like 500K just to see if he sells. You know what? I would actually like to make a Rangers playoff line, but whatever bro we'll, we'll we'll just still try to sell them and um we can always just get a cheaper one bro like i can you can find cheaper playoff fantasy cards than 500k so just keep that in mind boys if this guy sells i'll have seven hundred fifty thousand coins so let's see i'll put them up for one day and we'll check tomorrow morning see how he did that is why I am so hype about these playoff fantasy cards, bro. I am just having fun buying and selling these cards, trying to predict who's going to get upgrades. I have a ton of them in my collection. My playoff theme team is cooking. So I'm very excited and happy that they released these new uh, playoff round two cards. Kind of unfortunate that they released a Sam Bennett because he's injured. I actually would really like to pick up that card, and I just hope that he comes back. I would like to watch some of these guys in game. But um, here I have a pretty big issue, boys. Vegas Knights. I have a Vegas Knights line and a Boston Bruins line. Playoff theme. Both of them have upgradable playoff fantasy cards. I have upgradable Carlson for the Knights and then upgradable Charlie Coyle for the Bruins. Now they're both going to game sevens. If they both lose, I'm going to have to scrap one of those lines. So I'm thinking I would make a Edmonton Oilers line with get that Evander Kane card, put him with X-Factor McDavid. And then I'm also thinking I would make a Rangers line. Maybe get Panarin and Zabanajad, put them with Trocheck. That would be a sick line. I was going to do the Hurricanes. That's why I bought Seth Jarvis, but I actually don't want to do that. Dude, I have a lot of cards in here. Close to a I have like, if all these sell, I'll have a million in coins, bro. Over a million coins. It's going to be insane. Really surprised this Joe Thornton card isn't selling, considering it's a community request card. Very rare card. The community literally requested it. Trying to sell him for like 159 Not a bad price at all, but he hasn't sold yet. I'll get back from the barbecue and I'll check him out. Ray Bork not selling for 14 but yeah, I am very excited about this event, dude. Uh, there's going to be some collectibles and hot rush you can get to help you get that random pack. And stay tuned for my pack opening that's going to be uploaded tomorrow morning. We're doing a massive pack opening, hunting for these playoff cards. Boys, hunting for these playoff cards. Once again, it's Tony Sauce. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for checking out the video. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments below. I answer all my questions right away, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.